And welcome to another edition of The Smoke Show here on the Woodward Sports Network. My name is Sean Belegian, Mike Ivasil on the far side. The man in the middle, the man, well, he's the reason why we're all here. He's the chef, he's the butcher. You can check him out at the butchery on Orchard Lake Road in Sylvan Lake slash Kego Harbor. Dave Hubbard, and today, guys, we are doing something. Mike, you know this. This is near and dear to my heart. Yep. The hot dog is underrated. There are so many different things you can do with a hot dog, and there are so many different variations of what we commonly refer to as the hot dog. And, Mr. Hubbard, um, you're going to prove that today, aren't you? Yeah, I think, you know, just as well as we do with, you know, our steaks, you know, the dry age, the wet age, the, the high end, the entry level, if you will, sirloin versus chalk versus, you know, um, even a more uh, – uh, piece that has a more you know three different cuts coming into it like a tri-tip something like that um the hot dog has the same kind of thing going on where you can add a little bit of flavor it they're all encased is kind of the thing some they take the casing off once they're cooked um or steamed if you will uh but for the most part yeah same thing you can go all the way high end snake river farms just like we do with our steak um you can go uh cured all beef uh piedmontese which is is some of the best beef in the in, in the country right now mm. Um, really nice uh, uh, cows that they're raising and, and handling. Um, Dearborn, we got local Kowalski. Dearborn Red Hots, so we did something a little different there. Love Red Hots. So you got a little, Love Red and, Hots. What is the Kowalski? The the, the stadium kibasa. Uh Sean, you told me it's that's your, my very favorite. That's like literally, if if it was a pyramid, that's the top of the pyramid. That's, the top a, that's of the pyramid. what they serve at, at Joe Lewis. They serve those uh, stadium style kibasas yeah. at, at Joe Lewis. That's it's what, what I grew what up you were with. Saying I didn't realize little, that, but I'm yeah. excited. A little bit of salty bite or snap yeah. on the end. Yeah, yep. yeah, totally. Something um, a little different. Yeah, and then we, we come over here and we have, you know, the, the regular old hot dogs, if you will. The, the, some are all beef, uh, some are the uh, pork and beef, uh, but everything local from Winters, Dearborn. Uh, and then we got the national stuff, the stuff that um, everybody talks about, Nathan's, the hot dog eating contest. 75 hot dogs is the, the, the champion right now, Joey Chestnuts. <laughs> 75 of those bad boys, that's, that's insane. Ballpark, you know, they plump when you cook them. The old fashioned classic. Yeah, I've totally. heard that. I like that. I like that. <laughs> and Hebrew National, my favorite. Uh, natural casein is off on these, but these are all beef, a jumbo frank. They got a little bit of uh, saltiness to them, um, but those kosher dogs are, are absolutely my favorite. And uh, the baseball, Frank, at uh, Comerica Park, I like it. But I got to tell you, I've gone to Pittsburgh. I've gone to, uh, you said you've been to 17 ballparks, yep. I think, on the show the other yep. day. I've been to about a dozen. And my favorite dog was, was in Pittsburgh, and it was the Hebrew it was National. Great. It was great dog. Yeah. Phenomenal dog. I don't know. They, you know, just straight onions and mustard. I'm Dodger dog. Yeah. Ooh. It was phenomenal. Fenway I'm not really. joking. It was phenom there, phenomenal. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, phenomenal. So the Fenway Frank is also another favorite. Yeah. Fenway one. Frank, I haven't been to Fenway. Those are the two places I haven't been. So, so what, yeah, what's interesting that. about this is it, it, I think they have these at the kiosk, too. If I'm not mistaken, I, I think they have the Hebrew National at the kiosk at Comerica Park. Oh, yeah, most definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 They're, they're, they're uh, kosher, most definitely. Yeah, so um, what we're doing, and, and we forgot to mention these, and Mike and I, there were a couple <laughs> yep, bad yep. ones, so Mike Last and I already least. had to eat a couple. <laughs> Dave, those are phenomenal. I don't know what you did. Can you explain to everybody what you did? So I took an all beef uh, hot dog, a, a four or five to one. These things are about yeah, about four to one. They're they're a quarter pound a piece. I wrapped that in a nice thick bacon, and then I threw it on. I threw it on the Traeger uh, at 325 degrees for about 25 minutes, and it browned up real nice. So yeah. Oh, uh, and they, they're unbelievable. But again, it's to show we just went over eight different kinds of hot dogs, and now here's something different you can do with a hot dog. Everyone's you know, if you were to say, hey, guys, come on over. I'm going to throw some uh, dogs on the grill. People would be like, what? No brisket? Right? But they're missing out. They're, they're missing out on what you can do with a dog. We've got some coney sauce. We're going to throw some coney sauce on these bad boys. How they did you made from I, beef hearts, by the way? I, beef hearts. I was yes. just going to tell you, Mike, uh, let's talk about the accoutrement. Oh, let me can see Can I that ask you about how did you crisp the bacon on this first? How did, you, how did you crisp the bacon? I'm not exaggerating. 325 on the Traeger. I just put it in there. I set them right on the grate and let them brown. Mm. And then I flipped them over after about 20 minutes. Mm. So the, the bacon, yeah, it crisped up just nice all on can its I, own. Boy, can good. I get a quick apology in here? Because like I've been telling you guys, I'm going to physical therapy right after this. <laughs> and Maje, I am sorry for this Coney dog. Well. <laughs> <laughs> so mm. we, we have we have a lot of the, the classic accoutrement. You know, we have... Uh, 
ketchup, mustard. We got some brown mustard. We got some mucky duck, which is a real mm -hmm. nice, you know, sweet and spicy thing going on. We got some uh, butchery uh, pickle relish, some classic relish, some kraut, some of our uh, kraut that we make we have here somewhere right here, sauerkraut. Uh, some creamy coleslaw that Julie makes at the store. Uh, some shredded cheddar, uh, onions, bacon even, uh, some pepper rings. So you can kind of put whatever you want on a hot dog, I think, and either you can elevate it, you can take it to a different place. Um, we, we see it in, in, the, in the barbecue circles. We see them on, on Twitter all the time. Mm -hmm. The guys where they're showing, oh, I, you know, hot dog, they got their, their brisket, leftover brisket thrown on top there with some sauce and some onions. And it's kind of, oh, wow, this is really cool. You know, same thing with the pulled pork. Throw some pulled pork on top of your uh, hot dog. You know, split it open, grill it. Throw some pulled pork on there, some barbecue sauce, some onions. I think, I think it's just important that I was saying this when we were uh, setting everything up that we get on here and we're throwing some uh, – $110 Wagyu steaks on the grill. We're throwing on $100 tri-tips and all these big expensive things, right? People get intimidated. Some people that I'll talk to be like, oh, I can't do the, the stuff that you guys do. But they have to realize this is barbecuing too. Absolutely. This is grilling too. Yep. And it is very important for those people that are throwing the big money on there, the, the big meats, the uh, the briskets and stuff on there to realize and accept that this is the, this is okay. You know, this it's funny, uh, and you know what, we've we've all got in that rut at times where we're trying to be too cute, where what's the next great adventure? Right. And sometimes, and, and for me, and I'm sure you guys can both relate to this, sometimes it's my kids that, that do it. Like, hey guys, what do you want? Dad, can you just grill some hot dogs and, and make them kind of dark? You know, because right. one of my kids likes them really dark, the other one likes it not as dark. Yeah. And, and you know... Yeah, that's a great idea. Why don't we just grill some dogs? So Absolutely. The other day, Sebastiano, that's exactly what he asked for. He's like, hey, you guys go into the store? Yep. Get some hot dogs. I mean, it's there. It's acceptable. It doesn't have to be. We're not all brisket and tri-tip, you know? Well, and then our fine engineer, of course, uh, the young lad we so affectionately call Fish. Yes. Fish, we've had all this wonderful stuff here the last few weeks, right? Fish's yeah. eyes lit up today. When we told him we had hot dogs, because he, he loves hot dogs. And I think, and let's go. And I think Dave brought up a good point. I think when we were talking about it last week, what are we going to do? I think from the fishbowl, we heard hot dogs. <laughs> and and it, it, it sat with us. And, and as soon as you say it, like, you don't think about it. Because what we're looking at, like, all right, Dave, what can we do this week? What can we mess around with? We even ourselves get away from the basics. One thousand when, when I see this setup right here, I mean... It, it, it makes me five again. And I'm sitting in the backyard, Sean. Barb has got her probably red hair at that time, her big, oh, boofy red Bob's hair, voice. throwing some burgers and just hot dogs on the grill. This is this is what started us to where we are right now. No question. The hot dog. That's exact. My dad had one of those little, like, little hibachis, and it was amazing how, oh. how much food he could put on that. <laughs> That's a skill. How did you that do is that? an unbelievable skill, yeah, yeah. right? It, it is. So, um, yeah, let's go. This I mean, is this, so is, this see, is fun. Real quick, I can see why you can eat seventy five of those darn things. They're smaller than small, and you look at some of these other dogs, the premium dogs, or even this uh, jumbo Frank. These are four of these are one pound here. So you're looking at quarter pound hot dog. Um, you can for even even if you go high end, you know Snake River Farms hot dog. Yeah, that hot dog might be you know four or five bucks a piece, but you're gonna eat one of them because it's it's a quarter pound of meat. Like I mean, how much meat you're really gonna eat? I mean, you could have some other stuff. Sean might have two hot dogs and none of the potato salad and stuff. Right? Yeah. yeah. Oh like, no 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 no. No sides. Four hot dogs. Now, but what what accoutre, accoutrement, Sean? Do you? Uh, yeah. If you break down, do you what like, do you put in? Yeah, that's the best question. Because you know, here's a good thing. Like <laughs> oh, I, I remember uh, I back in the for... day, the uh, Grand Rapids Griffins used to run uh, dollar hot dog, dollar beer in the first period. So me and me and our good friend scott lock mm -hmm. uh we would go out there and we would drink and eat as many as we we could but here's the funny thing in between the bar to our hotel room at the end of the night was a hot dog cart so this is my long story coming to this the hot dog cart is unbelievable oh. they they had anything and everything you could think of so if you're at that that cart what what are the items you're picking to put on your dog <clears throat> have you ever been to a jays game yes i have jays? Okay. yeah oh yeah sky Dome. don't ever buy a dog inside the stadium don't ever do it. Okay. To your point, they the guys outside, it's phenomenal. Okay. And I don't know what they do to the dogs, 
But my gosh, it's absolutely phenomenal. It's that, it's that sewer water that they... <laughs> and, and, and sewer water. I'm sure I'm legion for sewer water. The Canadian water, right? <laughs> are, are you, are you, listen, Mike, like, honestly, I'm getting my perfect dog, mustard. That's, That's it. it. That's no, it. No, no. Mustard. I, you know what? They, it, if there's I'm sitting here, fresh it diced onions, me. if there's fresh, fresh? diced onions, yeah, I'll go you. with fresh diced onions. They they've got to look like that. Yeah, that most fresh. of the time it looks not like wet. somebody pissed inside oh, no. something that that kind of looks yeah, that like funk onions coming out. Yeah, yeah no, no. And, and I don't want any part of that. No, Get away from me. Yeah. So Steaming. unless it's fresh diced onions, I'll I'll go brown okay. mustard, yellow mustard, ducky mustard, um, <laughs> any mustard. Right. I, that, I got you. I got Simple. I, I, depending on how good the night at the bar was, would probably depict uh, what, what I'm doing. And I know for a fact, because I woke up the, the morning after this particular uh, evening that we had in Grand Rapids, and there was a whole hot dog, so I can remember exactly what, what was on it. And it, it was base, your basic Chicago dog uh, with some extra jalapenos on it. So I, I don't mind the, that's got a little celery uh, salt on it. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Tomatoes, yep. uh, pickles. Sport peppers. Yep. Yeah. Those. And then, of course, it was back in the day when I would just gluten myself to death. So I paid for that the entire weekend. But, but I, I can do it. But then again, if I'm at home, I'm going to have just mustard on it. Again, maybe some onions. But I do, we'll put a dollop of ketchup on my plate. To, I don't know what it is about ketchup. I dip things in ketchup. You know what's funny? You mentioned the Chicago dog. Chicago and Detroit has this stupid debate going on, which is better. And so like a Chicago dog or a Coney, is that yeah. what they're saying? Both things can be good because yeah. it seems like a lot of people go, I can't stand the Chicago dog from Detroit. I can't stand the Detroit Coney from Chicago. Both things are are quality yeah. to me. Mm -hmm. uh, now, look, would I rather have a Coney? Of course I would. That's what I grew up yes. with. And our mutual friend, um, yep. uh, Crazy Ted, yep. shout out to Crazy Ted. His mother had a Coney Island growing up. That was oh, like, on. I yeah, wish. yeah. He just, she had a Coney Island, and so we. That's where I ate fourteen. Remember? Yeah, Ted was absolutely. Ted was like, I ate fourteen Coney's, and my friends looking at me going, "What the heck's wrong with you?" And I'd I, say boy, back I in the day, that's it. a good number. That's a good number. Yeah, I, I paid for it though. That so wasn't... are you? Are you uh, a fan of the Coney? Love Sounds it. like you are. Okay. Yep. So Love are it. you traditional Coney onion? Bidelia onion, you know, yellow mustard. That's it. Period, yep. right? Yep. I saw, you know, we had, I brought Coney in before, and we, I saw somebody, Chad Johnson, put ketchup on that thing. And I swear I wanted to run in well, there and kick him in the knee. At yeah, that point oh in my time, gosh. It's not a Coney. We put ketchup on Sorry. a He put ketchup on the sausage, too. That was like, oh, my heart like yeah, broke and, a little and bit. Sometimes but, people go, I like to add cheese. And I go, okay, well, then I'm saying this with a smile. A chili cheese dog. You're I'm, not I'm, eating a Coney. I'm hawking this grill over here. Look at and I know Chef can tell us which, which each of them are, but I, I need Snake River Farms. You know me. Stick, if, in case you guys have missed it, he and Joey, Stick's in the other room and he's shaking his head. He and Joey have the Coney challenge, so he knows what I'm talking about. A Coney is the chili, no, the mustard, no, and the dog. That's it. It's that's it. That's chili, a Coney. Yeah. Chili, mustard, onions, bun, dog. Yeah, that's, that's it. it. Five simple ingredients. Yep. If you put cheese on it, you turn it into a chili cheese dog. Now you're in Cincinnati. Yeah, if you if basically you, if, Cincinnati if, does that. If you yeah, the skyline chili the, stuff. with the yeah. noodles and stuff yeah. that they do, right? They, they, no, thank you. That's you know, you put ketchup on it. I don't know what to call it. I call it an atrocity, right. but it's. I can tell you this: what I don't call it, I don't call it a coney. I tell you, back uh, a while ago, I had a bunch of guys in the neighborhood, and we would uh, tailgate, but basically sit on my back deck and watch the football games. And it was great because I think it was Kroger. I ran into one of the the Detroit uh, Coney places, put out a box. And in that box was a package of their buns, a package of their uh, sauce, a package of some their the mustard they use, the onions they use, the dogs they use, and everything. I got it every week. And we would pound them. It was unbelievable. The best part, they had the little chef cap. Oh. So I'd get to put the little chef cap on. Absolutely. I'd get in the kitchen, and I would make... Was it American? Yeah. yeah thank yeah. you, Stick. Yeah. Yeah, yes, absolutely. My family moved to Arizona, and you know, as a, you know, that's what you do when someone moves away from Detroit. Oh, you absolutely. Send them a little taste of the city. Absolutely. One hundred percent. We did. Well, National has you can buy just the chili, like the the Coney style chili. You can get that at grocery stores. We sell the see National that? Chili. Yeah, yeah that's, that's exactly it. Story, and that, beef hearts. That? Did we mention you, that? It's beef, beef hearts. hearts. I'm eating. Dave, beef Dave hearts. explain to everybody that that's what Look it is. It's beef hearts. 
All right. That's beef hearts. Beef hearts is uh, yeah a part of the combination that goes in there. That soft little texture, uh, rich beef flavor. That's exactly what it is. And you can't look beat at this. That. Isn't I'm that beautiful? You. Oh, look at the Snake River Farms. What did Again. you do? What? No, I, I got to talk about point to this. So you this one here, to... I took ah. I took that Piedmontese all uh, beef, all natural uh, beef dog here, and I took some uh, kraut, wow. some bacon bits, some mustard, and some. Uh, oh, that's it. And that's I put that in a nice great, brioche bun. That's a great mix. No, get no, no. Give that nope. to somebody else. Yeah, we're gonna fish. Gotta, if you like kraut, get, get in there. That. If not, I got a, a coney with an everything a bagel seasoning dog, but Ooh. that's not really. Then we'll have a uh, we'll get something fish, else. Fish, what going kind here. do you want? We, we got to take care of our own. Fish, what kind of dog do you want, and what do you want on it? What do you like on your dog? We, we got it. We got to take care of our own first, right? Well, these chairs are comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> I never I sat in here before. It. What do you want, pal? Just a hot. Put some cheese on the hot dog. Okay. Just, you just all want right. cheese. All you right. don't want I anything gotcha. else. No. Nope. Okay, coming up next for you. All right, you're the, you guys are the best. Great no, you show. are the best. We appreciate you. Uh, stick doing one. like quadruple uh, work. I don't know if you know this. Stick doesn't sleep. He just works. So sticks in the, sticks in the room right now. Take care wondering. of the audience. I was everything's running so smoothly. Stick, all right. Stick. Thank what you, do you sir. want? What are you in the mood for? Um, you know what? Since we do the Coney reviews constantly, I'll, I'll do a Coney. D- yeah, get him one of those natural casings, Dave. We'll do the homemade Coney for yeah, him. Yeah, we did we did a Coney review this morning for Joe's in uh, Centerline. It's surprisingly oh, okay. right. a very Warren, good right Coney. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, no, this is fish. Fish doesn't want yeah, that. Fish yeah. doesn't want that. Fish just wants cheese, right? Cheese. Yeah, cheese. fish just wants some cheese. So let's take no mustard, ketchup, or anything like that. Fish, you're the man. Right. Just cheese. Let me go deliver that you to my friend. That? And then we'll make go. one for, for, uh, for the smoke show uh, page. Of picture of yep. The so yeah. we, you can you can do uh, any of these dogs on a grill. We can do them on the smoker. You can do them on a gas hot. grill. Got my red hot right oh, here. Oh, I love the red hot. Coming over for Sean Belegian. That's what you know. That's I Red hots are just... That's hey, another, me, that's a street vendor thing. There's one right near America Park where a dude does red hots. And I'm telling you, it's tremendous. Oh, absolutely. The, mm. Those again, on those Sundays, it's, again, this is just flooding back with memory. The hot dog brings back so many memories. It, yep. It's uh, tailgating. Like I said, it's moms in the backyard with the old uh, girls and stuff. This is, it's great. Let me mm. uh, steal a bite of that. Here, Which, that's, oh, that's a good, here, that. here, Mike. That's, that's Mike a, likes everything with heat, so we'll give him something oh, with a little yeah. bit of heat. Boy, Dearborn, you did a great job with this. Yeah, I like I like Dearborn local this brand. Is, yeah. This is yeah. good, yeah, definitely nice stuff. Mm. That uh, you see those pictures when I wrap. Oh wow, that does got a little heat. Uh, I wrap the the that big sausage in bacon. Mm-hmm. That's Dearborn, a Dearborn Cajun. Yeah. Oh, God. wow, that's perfect heat. That, is, that is really that's a good heat. If you're into a red hot, okay, that's this right here, right? Yeah, that's a that's a good. This is a good punch. This is a good punch. Yeah, that is perfect right here, guys. Thank you, stick. I know I just got to figure out where it's I'm at. Over to stick. Mm, These red hots, please. just a perfect kick. It's it's nothing to be afraid of. It's nothing to run away from. And, so who's and gonna Maggie's who's gonna try the the uh, vegan dog? And I got the stadium kabasa. You, you like know, that one, Sean, right? That is all. Yeah, Mike is all the, all about the Slide vegan. Slide that over to you. Yeah, I'm I think all about my body would go. What are you doing? Oh, put some garlic butter. It'd on be that, like one you? of our buddies who protein. What is this? <laughs> <laughs> all right. Of course, Three I got to smell it first. Joke. All right. All right. What is it? it? Smells more like of a Italian sausage. sausage. More. Yeah. Yeah. More okay. Sausage. It's got some. It's got some seasoning in there. Dave, how do they do this right. with these? How, like seriously, how do they make these? These are these are fascinating. Those are just a, a, a seasoning. The stadium dog is a seasoning, and I think they're lightly smoked. So mm-hmm. it's you know the cured and smoked versus just a lot of these are just cured or you know cooked. They're not they're not necessarily smoked. Huh. The stadium dog has a little bit of smoke on it. Um, well, let's throw all these on. Mm. All right, so this has got a little bit of a casing on it, Dave. Is that what I'm? Because you you you, oh, seared, you seared it up nice, which contrasts against the the texture of what is oh, actually inside. Oh, that was cooked inside. on the Traeger. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That was. You know, what, like so, it's real it's real loose and crumbly inside, but the texture of that what he did it, it kind of almost fools me for a minute. It's like Beyond Meat sausage. And then I put a little ketchup. On, I'm telling you, I don't know where I started this. I put ketchup on everything. Put that on everything. And you name it, you name right. it. I put ketchup on it. How does that taste? Is it good? I love seasoning. 
so it's a little bland for me. Okay. Oh. I would I would want more like I I'm not minding the texture of it with the the bite and everything on it, but I want more. You know me, I like that spice. I like to be kicked in the teeth with it. Probably I've blown out my my taste buds. Huh. So it's just a little bit bland, but I mean the smell of it's good. It, it, I mean there's nothing. Dude, it looks like to me it looked like lamb. It almost looked like a lamb yeah, dog. Yeah, it, 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 you know what it is. It looks like the lamb sausage that Dave made. Uh -huh. But it's not the, of course the flavor, like the the, la the layers of flavor that Chef Dave puts on stuff is much better. Let's see. Oh, That's good. Man. Oh man. man. All right, wait. Did, did Stick attack that? Yeah. All right, what do we got? It's not super hot because it did have to travel. So, but you know, <laughs> yeah, it's not little super mercy. hot. But you know, we always like to uh, rate on the wiener snap because yeah. I think that's an important thing. Like the casing snap is such an important thing. Yeah, oh, yeah. that's exactly it's it. part yeah, of yeah. the experience. Yeah. It is. It really is. And when we've been doing these reviews, we go to so many places without the snap, and it's and it's weird. It's got a nice uh, wiener snap on it. Nice wiener. I, I like how you put the chili below the hot dog. I thought that was a nice little nice yeah, little next to the change. Um, but yeah, smoky hot dog smells good tastes good uh bun I, I go for a softer bun but this is okay yeah you got the brioche bun yeah yeah, yeah. But if, if it was warmed up and steamed to be perfect all i right, got a basic right. steam bun i could hook you up with if you mm. want to go that right. so what mm. what dog did you put in there dave that that the dog that he has is the winters that's our house uh, natural casing hot dog that we do for all right him. all right that natural casing is what's going to give it the snap got it Look. All right, all right. Look at this guy sneaking around the corner over there. Oh, man. Hey, Maz. And, yo, it's Wednesday. Hey, Come on. It's, it's Wednesday. Is McCarty lost? Where is he? Oh, he'll be. You know, Darren. You know, oh, is it Wednesday? I, <laughs> I love his. Oh, is it Wednesday? Is he running Is he running HR? Is pick that what's a, going pick on? one, Maz. Whatever you want. We're doing dogs today. We're, what's a New York dog? What's a New York dog? What do you want dog? on your dog? I'm, no, I've been trying. New York dog like is out of the sewer water, right? Kraut and Yeah. Really? I, ne I never knew that. I never. Red onion sauce. Oh, no oh, kidding. Yeah. yeah. Like a jam? They, they, oh, yeah, I make that for my hamburgers. Sweat it down. I make that yeah. for my hamburgers. Hold with on, man. Don't go anywhere. He's taking gouda. care of you right now. Oh, this is good. This is. And you know, the hot dog goes with everything. Uh, you know, I am very anti sides, as these guys know, because that means that instead of having three hot dogs, I can have six. <laughs> and I let, you know, the ladies can have all the sides they want and everything, uh, but the beauty of the hot dog is it, it pairs with the, some coleslaw, some potato salad, whatever the case may be, they'll take care of you. That is a hot mm. dog. Hey. So, fish. We're, we need a fish review. Where'd he go? Right there. You happy, is. fish? So, what do we got, fish? It's good? Oh, fish yes, knows. All right. So, so that's it. You don't know how happy we are that you actually partook in our show now. I You've was, been here, and we felt bad uh, always I, eating. We like, all I, I, I was thinking, you don't like us. Like, I, like I, fish, you want some brisket? No. Fish, you want some, do you want some ribs? No. Right, so I, I'm glad you're happy, fish. I'm, I'm very happy. Normally, I'm in the booth, so this is a change. Good, good. Enjoy. Look at those beautiful dogs. Some, Dave, and you know what you did for the people that maybe are trying to uh, cut, cut on the carbs? So no bun doing, over there? Yeah, I mean, I don't really do the bun. Mike doesn't do the bun. There's yep. a lot of people that aren't good. So all this other stuff you can put on there kind of stretches it. Makes I know it a guy good that and, puts two dogs in one bun. I see that. they And they, they just had a... Uh, they they had a, uh, a dog two, come back. They said the return bun. of the thin dog or, or a slender dog. So it's a... It's a long, but it's real thin like this, and he was fitting two in the buns, it's and that was what he said. That's you? Yeah, I do it. You're double bun? You, you yep. double the bun? Double dog. Oh. Double dog in the bun. Well, we're, um, I'm Let's, not going anywhere with that one, but uh, <laughs> we're good. We're good. We're, we're good with that. I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad. If you're so, thinking of a name of a new movie, huh? <laughs> Double Dog and the Buns. <laughs> huh? He'll be here all week. So, Try the veal. As we're sitting here talking about all these dogs, I, it's hitting me nonstop. The, I, the taste of that Red Hot is in my oh, mouth. Oh, it's yeah, so good. It's there. It's there. That is so good and so underrated. Even when I ate the stadium kielbasa, it was interesting oh, because I could, I could still I could still taste like as I bit it, I could still taste the red hot. So that here's a good. dumb question: You ate that whole stadium kielbasa, didn't you? Yes, I. Did. All right, I gotta try one. Yes, I. I put one on. Is that, for you. Oh, you yeah. Sorry, yeah. sorry yeah. about that. No, no, no. Well, no, I sorry. expect that. Please. That's, He's used to me by now. That's that's my fault. If I don't get in there and get it, oh, I, mean, I like come what you, on. Do you see what he did there? He, he split, cut the dogs. Yeah. yeah, he split the dog open, so it's its own little. And so I get two on there. Yeah, look, look at that. I gotta get. Here. Look at that. 
I feel bad because I it's normally people dogs. are kind of rooting out here going, when when is the food coming? I almost <laughs> want to start carrying dogs out for people and everything. Uh, yeah, you can, can pick you start up the... all this stuff at the butchery. Make sure you visit Dave. Uh, Dave, the weekends are the best to come visit you? That's right. We're there uh, all weekend. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Good. You're going to have to get, get your Red Hots. Red Hots here. Get your yeah, Red Hots. Yeah, but they're hots. not Red Hots. They're I not. never liked when they said that at the stadium. No. Red it's, Hots. It's hot yeah. There, it's a hot no, dog. No, it's not Red Hot. And speaking of weekend, we're all over the map here, but if they come this weekend at noon on Saturday, uh, there's going to be a bunch of people there for a sandwich of Palooza. Oh, yes. That's uh, right. Our friend that was in the... That was in the audience here. Oh, the audience was it was with us here last week. Uh, Jay Ralph uh, put something together, and I know I'm going to get out there. I'm going to grab myself a pork butt for my family uh, barbecue on Sunday, and then head out to a hockey game. Good. Sounds stuff. like fun. You know, we were talking about one last thing. We were talking about what goes good with a hot dog, and I, plain and simple, I like a potato chip with my hot dog. Uh, I think it's classic. Americana. We talked about our favorite potato chip, Sean, I think is the same. I don't know if you're just appeasing me, but the mm. Better Made Barbecue, it's absolutely hands down, my it's favorite chip in the world. The Red Hot is good, but the better, just the regular orange, barbecue. Uh, yeah, the yeah, orange bag. Classic, yeah, yeah. I'll my be favorite. on the other And she's going, look, I have chips for you. You know, the lady on the I'm Better the, Made oh, yeah, 100%. Lady. Yeah, 100%. I, I am the Red Hot. Again, I think and, I told the story when we talked about that for when yeah, I was yeah, in yeah, grad yeah. school, that was my lunch, a Diet yeah. Coke. Oh, they're great. A Diet Coke and a bag of Red Hot They're great, but I'd rather have the barbecue. That's just me. So there is I brought some chips today, but there's a chip here I wanted you guys to try that oh. I think is phenomenal. And right. it's the Great chip? Lakes, which is a Traverse City uh, chip. Uh, it's a it's a Michigan cherry barbecue chip. Okay. This chi- I'm Does telling you, I don't know what it is. On there? I'm Let's hooked try. on this thing. Ketchup? Did it say ketchup on there? No ketchup. No, that didn't no, say ketchup? No. Was it? No, Michigan oh, cherry kettle. barbecue. I saw the KD yeah, it's a and my yeah. head went right to but. ketchup. All right, let me see. All right, and I'm going to step away because these are crunchy. I don't want this. Thank you, pal. See, I like mustard with my thing too. Mike says no. It's, I, it's I saw the it. kettle. It's the kettle. It's sweet. Yeah, it's got a little sweetness. Yep, it's yeah. sweet. But it's that Michigan cherry. I, I kind of like it. Now I'm gonna give you the, that. I can. I can. Get but if you like a regular chip, we I got like downies. The skin on. They're in. Um, they're right in Waterford. You know what? I'm getting more of the cherry than the barbecue though. It's yeah. Weird. Yeah. Yeah. Same with on you. Front, yeah. Yeah. Probably that's why. All right. It's different. It's not a barbecue chip per se. No, it's, it's not It's bad. a cherry chip. Yeah. Here's the thing. I can get used to that. Almost like an apple cherry. Yeah. I can eat that. You know what that'd be good on? A hot dog. The cherry flavor is really, it's interesting. Right. You it's put really, that put that on a hot dog. Let's try that. I think we should, I think, I think that'd go on a hot dog. I think that'd be good. Because it, it, again, I said ketchup because I saw the K, of course. But I think it almost would give you that I'm gonna uh, put it with a red ketchup, hot. the sweetness. Throw right? some ketchup on Oh, yeah. No, no, no. This will give you like a <laughs> That's ketchup a great idea. kind of thing. All right, here I go. All right, I'm going to, you guys keep talking. I'm going to check some of these out. Is that all right, Dave? Yeah. Um, or do you want to leave them there for posterity's sake? I think they look really pretty. All right, let's leave them there for posterity's sake. <laughs> I'm all, all right, into the aesthetics. Maybe, does, maybe Joey wants to come in and try one of those uh, Coney yeah. dogs. Mm. I, got a, I got a double Coney dog on deck there for him if he wants it. Yeah, I was mm. going to say, Dave, can you like walk us through each one that's on the screen right now? So I just made a bunch of different ones. Like up here up front there, I made uh, a dog with some, uh, with some, with some uh, coleslaw and some bacon, that bacon wrap dog. Pass it over to Joey. He's All looking right. through the window. He, 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 yeah, he's got a. And then, and then I did this. So I did that. What Mike was talking about, I split the dogs, split it, kind of split it down the middle. Hand, hand me a dog, Mike, and I'll show him on the camera here. But I, I split it kind of down in the middle and put some stuff on it. And then I layered some more stuff and then layered another dog. So that kind of is like a double decker kind of fun. Um, yeah, this here is we go. This Cabasa, right? So we'll take this Snake River Farms dog. Uh, this I want uh, Stick to try this. He'll, he'll he'll like this is a whole different world of hot dog, but uh, and then I'll, I'll go continue on here. The this here dog go. here was that Piedmontese all natural dog with uh, some bacon and some sauerkraut and some mustard on it. This one here I threw some coleslaw. I like coleslaw with a little bit of heat to it. So yes. I threw some red onion and some of those uh, those pepper rings. Yep. were phenomenal. So I think that those flavor co- pro kind of weird looking at it on the surface, yeah. but you put them together, it's like got sweet and crunchy and then a little bit of spicy little layer, vinegar. layer of yeah, flavors yeah, right. that you're so good 100%. at doing, Dave. And then we did, uh, we did a, a, like you said, no, a no uh, with some basic relish, a no bun dog over there. Absolutely. But the snap of that, oh! uh, that natural casing dog is where Look it's at. Look at that gift. Dave, gift I love, I love the chip with the red How hot. good did that See? go? Yeah. That was Mike's idea. That's uh-huh. sweet, that? sweet yeah, and yeah. heat. Kind of balance you. it together. Let's get in there. I don't... 
Joey's, you're, <laughs> you're on. There's no stopping us I now. Mean, yeah, you, you're, you're stuck. We made the hot dog, but you and Stick are the Coney guys here. It's probably ice cold. He's going to be like, this thing sucks. You know? <laughs> it's gonna, oh, like, wah, wah, wah. Boy, is that good, Mike? <laughs> All right, isn't it? With that. And you know what? It, br- it brought up the barbecue more in the chips, too. And the, the like, I don't taste. I, I, Absolutely. I, Man, is Maje going to kill me at physical therapy today? This oh. is going to be bad. I always love trying your meat. I just want to start with that. <laughs> Thank you, Joey. I Thank you. you. Thank great you. meat. I like, I like my meat in your mouth. Is, yeah, that, is that where we're going honestly. with this? <laughs> Joey, your friends. Okay, so Joey has a it's couple actually friends my fiance. here. <laughs> <laughs> I shouldn't have said that in No, it was really funny because the one girl was standing right behind you and saw the camera, and, and it's the international sign of... Oh shit! I'm on camera. She had to, the, the eyes got real big. Her mouth opened wide, and she she ran out of the way. So you're more than welcome to come out here. Oh, there she. Yeah, that's right. And there's two guys talking Smiling about me. Smiling yeah, and happy. Yeah. yeah. Right. Oh, you got. It. And there's and there's nothing better. There's nothing better than someone coming in. They always tell Mike they like Mike's meat. And Mike doesn't even work at a butcher shop, a meat no, market, or anything I close I to it. I, I love I, it. I, just, I so, don't know where so they're going with that. I don't you know, know what they're talking about. It's my favorite. <laughs> they like who you hang out with, Mike. That's what it is. <laughs> Absolutely. I surround myself with good meat. Contrary to popular that, belief, Mike does a, not work at the butchery. I mean, no, some people think that Mike works at the butchery, and for a while they thought I did as well. But no, we're, we're just two guys that we went in, and we were like, this guy has everything we're looking for, and that's that. Absolutely. <clears throat> All right, anything else before we get out of here? This is awesome. Well, I, no, just hot dogs. <laughs> I would, Try uh, this. I'm yeah, serious. Bacon wrap them, throw them on the smoker. Do it on the smoker because I can never get the bacon right. I, honest to God, I can never get patience. the bacon right. Ba- bacon on a grill is patience. You've got to wait it out and let it and let it get there. Like when I put when I wrap that huge sausage in bacon and put it on there, that's 30 to 45 minutes to get it because I like a good crisp on that bacon. I mean, you just have to wait it out. That's mm. all. You know, Mike is the king of wrapping stuff with bacon and putting it in the really, smoke. So there's no you, debate there, about that. No, there's, there's, 100% there's nothing there. I have it and nothing I won't wrap. And I'm not lying. I thought about it, had him on there for about 15 minutes. I was like, man, these are never going to. It is patience. Let it go. Take your time. Do you know what I used to do? I used, to do, nice I used to do the cheat. I would put it on the grill and then I'd split it. And at the very end, the, I'd already cooked the bacon. I'd put it in the middle of the okay. dog with the cheese on top of it. Right. But it's different. When you actually wrap it. Now I now that I know how to do it on, on the so smoker, I'm going to do it on the smoker. Layers right. of texture and flavor. So as I was sharing with you guys before we get out of here, uh, Thursday I was at golf, and Friday I was at the hockey rink. And I actually ran into four people that have watched the show and, and were asking me about it, and I thought it, you guys thought it was cool. I thought it was funny because they are like, that's not you, you know. Mm-hmm. But uh, when I got the golf league, they're all big smokers. That, that's what we will talk about, brisket and all these guys. So I got out there. Our boy, the big cat, came up, and he said, how's the brisket going? And then a guy came, Aaron, Aaron Gentle. Gentle uh, Machinery, another Michigan uh, business here that, that we want to get out there. And what a great guy talking about brisket, wanting to talk about barbecue. Of course, pulls out some swag. He knows I'm a T-shirt guy. And he's like, wear the shirt, wear the shirt on Thursday. So Aaron... This is for you. There you go. See you guys tomorrow at the golf course. We'll talk some hot dogs. Aaron, get me a shirt, damn it. <laughs> All right, we got to get out of here. Thank you, Stick. Thank you, Fish. Uh, Dave Hubbard, go see him at the butchery. We'll be out there Saturday uh, around noon. Yeah, sure. Yeah, around yeah. noon. Sure, that sounds good. Perfect. For Mike Ivesel, Dave Hubbard, I'm Sean Belegian. Until next week. Thank you, we'll work.